Let's admit it, EV chargers at home aren't sexy. They're pretty much a means to an end to make sure that your electric car is ready and full for you in the morning. But what if you wanted something a little bit more desirable, perhaps something that blends in with your home? Well, we think we've got the charger that's just right for you. This is the Home 7 series from Simpson & Partners and off the bat you can tell it looks really smart and a little bit different to other EV chargers on the market. You can even get the Home 7 in a range of colour options in numerous combinations. Definitely check out our website where there's a configurator and you can play around to see which option would suit your home and which you prefer most. My personal favourite is the Cotswold Green and I definitely would spec a wood lid. It makes it stand out that little bit more. This one is untethered as you can see here which means there's no permanent cable attached to the unit and you'll need to supply your own cable or use the one that comes with the vehicle hopefully but you can get the Home 7 as a tethered option which costs a little bit more. And you can see here on this untethered option there are courtesy lights so these light up just to I guess help you find the socket at night. You can dim that though via the app. Overall, it's a really, really smart looking product and only the Anderson A2 has ever really tried something like this in terms of offering a premium product and lots of different finishes. Arguably, it is better. There's more finishes available. Uh, you can get a wooden front as well, so some people might prefer that, but the Anderson does come with a hefty price tag and this is a good compromise. If you're looking for something that suits your home and you do want those customizable finishes, but at a lower price point, then the Home 7 is a really good option. Like the Charger, the Home 7 series app looks really good. It's really slick to use. It's really easy to get around and that shouldn't be overlooked. The user interface is really important and it's something you're going to be using quite a lot. And I've used other EV chargers and their companion apps just don't stack up sometimes. So that's been really impressive during my testing. So what exactly can you do in the companion app? Well, all the usual EV charger stuff to be honest as most smart chargers nowadays are offering the same features other than one or two bonus additions here and there. So you can set up a smart schedule. That means you can tell your car to charge overnight for example to tie in with your energy tariff when those electricity prices are lower. There are some other neat features too. So you can lock the charger, which means basically anyone trying to use your charger without your permission, it's not going to happen. You won't be able to pull the cable out unless you unlock it in the app. Again, we've covered in another video why it's unlikely a stranger's gonna come up to your charge point and be able to use it without your knowledge, but it's nice to know that you've got that added security. In addition, you can add energy costs if you want to track the price or the cost of your charging session and you can also view charging history if you needed to go back and look at previous charging sessions. And one more thing, you can dim the status light or the courtesy light so if you decided that it was too bright or you didn't want it on at all, then you can turn that off in the app. So what was the Home 7 like to live with? Well. I found it really easy to set up initially connecting the charger to the app via Bluetooth and then to my home Wi-Fi. Now your installer should do that for you but personally I found it really reassuring that someone like me could do it. It was really easy to do. In fact having Bluetooth was really handy as a backup just in case the Wi-Fi went down or the charger lost connection to the Wi-Fi it meant I could still use the app and change any settings or schedules for the charge point via the companion app because the Bluetooth was still connected. Of course, you need to be close enough to use that, but it's a really neat backup option. Now, I didn't get to try some of the other more advanced features that the Home 7 offers, such as the load balancing and the solar integration, and that's because you need to get some accessories to enable those, such as the energy manager and the solar manager. But given the rest of the experience I've had, which has been really high quality, I've no doubt that they do exactly what they say on the tin. It would be unfair to say to choose this product simply for its looks. After all, it does all the things that an EV charger nowadays should. 
It offers the smart scheduling, plus if you need things like load balancing and solar management, well, it does those too. But clearly, the main USP of this product is its curb appeal and the fact that you can choose from a range of finishes to suit your home. The starting price is higher than some other chargers, understandably, and you'll need to upgrade to the Plus model if you want those different colour options and finishes that I mentioned earlier, but it's not that much more. So if you're in the market for an EV charger and you definitely want something to blend in with your home or you want something that has that premium look, then the Simpson & Partners Home 7 series should definitely, definitely be on your shortlist. However, I would say if you're going to opt for a colour such as black, then maybe consider something like the Easy One, which looks really, really smart, is a little bit cheaper and looks just as good. Unless you want those different colours, you want the wooden finish, then go for the Home 7. We hope you found this review of the Home 7 really helpful. Of course, if you want more detail, check out the written review of this product on the website and there you'll find loads more guides, tips and tools to living with an EV. And obviously, you can also order a charger installation from us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.